£1,000 because we will not have to do uh, the regular updates uh, that the bond issue requires. But it has been a useful exercise and it will stand us in good stead uh, if we need to issue a bond uh, for any other reason. Councillor Grimston. Uh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. Isn't it the sign of a good business and a good council that it is always prepared to take calculated risks uh, when there is a proven benefit? We took a calculated risk over Bolingbroke School, and it is paying off with one of the most exciting developments in education in this borough for many, many years. We've taken a calculated risk here, but, but by definition, taking risks, they don't always pay off. Uh, would the Cabinet member rather be in a council which was prepared to take that view, or rather, as the Labour Party would seem to do, a council which never takes a risk at all and is always behind the curve? Of course, if we uh, ha hadn't uh, intended to issue a bond, in the light of what we knew now, the cost of this loan would have been considerably more. And I can't believe the Labour Party would want to uh, inflict council tenants with higher rents. This was an opportunity actually to produce lower rents. It didn't actually work out, but we've learned from it, and it's been particularly useful one of the, being one of the earlier councils going to this, that our professional bills, both from the lawyers and the bankers concerned, have been exceptionally low because they were all keen uh, to be seen to be associated with us and a successful local authority bond issue. Councillor Grimston. Uh, question 31, Mr. Ma uh, Madam Mayor. The answer sets out the rating agencies have been in to see us, they've checked the books, they've met with the leader, and we expect a good decision from them uh, by the end of the month. Um, supplementary. Does the Cabinet member agree with me, and I think he's referred to it already, uh, that one of the most uh, outrageous bits of dishonesty from the previous government was not counting private finance initiative as, as national debt? If they had been honest about that, our national debt would be uh, uh, far larger than many of our European partners. Uh, would you therefore agree that any private finance initiatives that this council has uh, uh, entered into should be counted as debt and should be declared as such to, uh, to the uh, assessors? Uh, we have always been extremely careful on our treatment of PFI on this council and generally speaking avoided going into it because we believe it to be a bad deal. And I think perhaps uh, the Conservative Party as a whole should have been a lot more critical of the PFI than it has been until recently. Perhaps we thought just because it had the word private in front of it, it was a good thing we shouldn't be seen as criticising it, when in fact it was very, very bad value for money. This council, on the other hand, has always kept itself in a very good financial position, and that's why I'm still hoping that we'll be receiving a AAA debt uh, rating, which will be better than that of the United States of America. Councillor Belton. Second supplementary, Madam Mayor. Um, I'm sure the Cabinet member will accept that I, for one, I seem to remember Councillor Gibbons as well, was always opposed to PFI anyway, so uh, we, we join you on that particular issue. But does he think uh, with the economy uh, bottoming out, flatlining, uh, double dip recession, whatever the trendy word is now, uh, and getting worse and worse in the last 18 months, that even Councillor Grimston will get bored with saying it's all down to the last Labour government. Just when are you going to accept responsibility for the mess that you've created and are continuing to create? One of the great myths is that this government is introducing swinging cuts. It is not. The level of cuts on current government expansion this financial year Real cuts allowing for inflation is 0.7%. Next year, 1.2%. These are not swinging cuts. It's not a case of supporting the cuts. It's, frankly, local government may have been hit very hard. Many other parts of government haven't been. It's a case of supporting the almost non-existent cuts.